Lancaster Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Thomas Moran. And I'm Alex Howard. Today is Friday, September 25th, 2015. Extended Homeroom Day B, Rotation 9-8. Here's what you need to know. On Monday, seniors vote for their homecoming court. The process is different this year. No more paper ballots. Now, seniors will use their iPads to vote during homeroom. The link will only be open from 8 to 8.10 a.m., so don't forget your iPads. Homecoming is right around the corner. Ticket sales start Monday and will continue till October 15th. Tickets cost $14, and if you are bringing an outside guest, you got to get the approval form when buying tickets. To get ready for field day, freshman powder puff players will meet during lunch periods today. You can still sign up in room 113 or 213. Seniors, if you want your picture in the yearbook, remember that Monday is the last day to have your picture taken. No ifs, ands, or buts. Make an appointment with Life Touch right away or, and stop by room 14 for contact information. Have you registered for your retreat yet? You have until later today to make your selection by registering online. Freshmen, do you want to have a say in how, how we run things in the school? There's an information session next Tuesday in the chapel during both lunches. Mrs. Howe needs all applications, speeches, and teacher recommendations by October 9th. Do you support Catholic football and want to help people in need? You can do both at tonight's football game at Garden Spot. Bring canned goods or box items from the local food pantry and get a free t-shirt with both schools' logos. Well, you better act fast because the shirts are first come, first serve. Sacred Heart School invites all Sacred Heart School alumni to Mass this Sunday at 6 p.m. with a celebration following in the gym. For the rest of the Pope's visit, Campus Ministry is our school's papal headquarters. Come watch live streaming or on-demand videos of Pope Francis' historic trip to the U.S. It's Friday and Joe Lubeck is here to look at sports. This past week was extremely successful for the Crusaders on the field. Boys soccer picked up a win over Northern Lebanon with Thomas Schlechtick netting two goals in the team's 2-0 shutout. Girls tennis cruised past Garden Spot, winning 6-1. Meanwhile, field, the field hockey team has been on a tear this week. The girls won in thrilling fashion in overtime 2-1 over Elko and followed it up with a dominant 4-2 victory over Peckway Valley. The boys and girls cross-country teams competed in the Northern Lebanon meet on this past Tuesday. The girls bested Lebanon, Northern Lebanon, and Anvil Leona. The top three finishers were Rosemary Tizino, Caitlin Camborgulos, and Gracie Zukas. The boys also beat the same three teams. The top three finishers were Miles McCaskey, Christopher Myers, and Colton Titus. This week, the golf team clinched the Section 3 title. The low medalists for the round were Tom Bird and Lauren Bird. The Crusaders golf team went a perfect 42-0 this season. Last Friday night, the Crusader football team notched its first win of the season, beating Littlestown 28-13. The Crusaders hope to keep the momentum going and pick up another road win, this time at Garden Spot. Go out and support your Crusaders as they take on the Spartans. Yogi Berra passed away this week. Berra was a Hall of Fame catcher for the New York Yankees. He was well known for his sayings that were affectionately called Yogiisms. Some of his best sayings were, Baseball is 90% physical, and the other half is mental. Bear was 90 years old. I'm Joe Lobeck. FYI, our own LCHS marching band is hosting a showcase at the stadium tomorrow night. Come out and make some noise for our classmate. And some big news for our LCHS. Mr. Timothy Hamer has been appointed school president. He'll start the week of October 19th. Mr. Terry Clue will continue as our school principal. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Crusaders. Crusaders.